so let us now discuss errors and their estimation and uh, under this i will cover two things one is the error propagation and uh, sorry not error propagation but errors in algorithm errors in algorithm these two things i will discuss in this lecture right so first of all let us talk about error propagation that how error propagate so where error will propagate we will do so many things in computation we will add things we will subtract things we will multiply and we will divide the thing so when we keep on doing all these things error will propagate in everywhere and integration and differentiation is nothing but it's like addition and subtraction nothing else right so how error will propagate so let me talk about that first of all means i want to discuss this one so numerical computation involves series of computations consisting of basic arithmetic operations operation here we will learn that how and errors at one point propagates in the computation involving various arithmetic operations so now uh in this topic i will simply talk about or briefly talk about that how error propagate in addition how error propagate in subtraction and how error propagate in multiplication and division aur bhi bade sare complicated operations ho sakte hain but i am not going to talk about that because beyond the scope of uh, this uh, book or you can learn those things at your own Okay, but i will briefly talk about these four things so first of all i will talk about error propagation in addition error propagation in addition error propagation in addition so similarly xt yt these are the true values and corresponding actual values or the approx sorry approximate values are xa and xb and errors are ex and ey ex and ey these are the errors so if i add these two numbers xt plus yt then this is equal to x a plus error in x right so e x plus x uh, sorry y a plus e y if it is approximate value then it is the error in that value so that they may be equated so it is x a plus y a and plus e x and e y simple then ye kya aa jayega it is 
the error. It is the total error in our computation when two number gets added. So error simply gets added, nothing will happen to them. So that means e x plus y, it is the total error in addition when two number gets added. So it is e x plus e y. And similarly, let us talk about error propagation in subtraction. Same thing will happen in that case also. So it's the error propagation in subtraction so x t minus y t it can be written as x a plus e x minus y a plus e y so it's equal to x a minus y a plus e x minus e y so that means error in subtraction is ex minus y and it is simply written as ex minus ey. That's what will happen. It's a total error in our computation, how it will pro propagate. Then error propagation in multiplication. Next is error propagation in in multiplication so it's similar as we discussed in case of multiplicative error so i'm not going to talk about that then error propagation in division error propagation in division So x t is the true value, y t is the true value, and let us take their division. And if I substitute their values, then it is x a plus e x and x sorry y a plus e y. But what is my requirement? I require x t over y t whether I am able to express that in terms of x a plus y a plus something. So, I separate out karna isko. So, for that what I will do? I will rationalize it. I will rationalize it. So, it is x a plus e x y a plus e y and it is y a minus e y y a minus E by and let us multiply these and it is x a y a plus y a e x minus x a e y minus e x e y whole divided by y a square minus e y square. Now, see, these are the product of two errors and the error is a very, very small. So that means this can be neglected. And similarly, it is the square of error. In the similar fashion, this can also be neglected. So it is also neglected. So when I neglect these, then what, what's going on? So it's equal to it is x t over y t is equal to x a plus y a plus y sorry into y a plus y a e x minus x a e y whole divided by y a square right so it modifies to what it is equal to it is x a over y a divide kar diya isko isse divide karenge so it is e x over 
एक्स ओवर वट वाई ए ठीक है तो एक्स ओवर वाई ए माइनस एक्स ए एक्स ए वाई ओवर वाई ए स्क्वायर ठीक है एंड इट इज एक्स ए ओवर वाई ए इफ आई टेक एक्स ए ओवर वाई ए मीन्स एक्स ए कैन बी टेकन आउट साइड एंड वाई ए कैन मीन्स दिस कैन बी टेकन आउट साइड एक्स ए यहाँ से आएगा सो एक्स ए यहाँ आ जाएगा तो इट मीन्स इट इज ई एक्स ओवर एक्स ए माइनस ई वाई ओवर y a e a that term our plus and plus will be there so that means what is it it is sitting in place of e x over y it is that error right so ye hamare pas division mein is tarah se error jo tha wo propagate karta hai hamari calculations mein right then error in next one last two isme part first hai that is error in algorithm that how error will propagate in our, our algorithm algorithm contains a series of steps it's it's not contain a single step simple multiplication or division okay so next is the error in algorithm so an algorithm is often characterized by characterized by what its step size its first is its step size let me call that step size as h and number of steps taken to reach the goal dusri cheez hai number of steps represented by n taken to reach the goal right as we saw in case of integration uh, differentiation that step size must approaches to zero and number of steps must be infinite if these things will happen then we will get the exact result if we will not take care this condition then we will not get the exact value so similarly algorithm an algorithm is good and it gives exact result what when if h approaches to zero and n approaches to infinity so that means but due to computational limit H can never be approaches to zero and n can never be some infinity. कल भी मैंने आप लोगों के साथ बात की थी. So that means every algorithm contains an approximate error because I am approximating. I am not taking h is equal to zero. Sorry, h approaches to zero, but I am approximating it equal to some very fine value, very small value. And similarly, I will try to take n as possible as large. but there is some limit i cannot approach infinity so due to this algorithm contains that approximating error so that means what how we can conclude that every algorithm contains an approximate error and what do we do 
these errors in algorithm they are reduced by taking smaller and smaller step size and large number of uh, steps to do that calculation right this is the way to reduce this error in algorithm right this is the one possible way so that's all for today in the next lecture uh, i will talk about uh, algorithm and uh, flow chart and we will take some examples that how algorithm and flow chart can be developed for such some problem